stupid ass goddamn phone. Come on out of stupid ass definition. Hello. I wanted to talk about the recent Gary's Mon Nintendo sh show. I don't feel like putting a lot of effort into this video because I'm working on some big projects. So, here's some gameplay footage or something. I don't know. Anywho, the Gary's Mon Nintendo drama. It's been happening since January. Or maybe earlier. As far as I remember, I think it all started when Apoc Heji and his brother Random Talking Bush noticed some of their add-ons had gotten taken down. For those of you unaware, Apoc Heji and his brother Random Talking Bush were well known in the Gmod community for porting a lot of Nintendo related content. Most specifically models such as Pokemon, Super Mario Bros., Kirby, Donkey Kong Country, yada yada yada. It spiraled to not just Bush and his brother, but Brewster T. Koopa, Mr. Prawn, Crispy Toast, Yonpol, etc. Basically, anyone who uploaded content with the Nintendo IP stuck on it. The awareness about this situation didn't go viral until Face Punch announced to the Gmod community that they noticed this problem, saying that they want people to delete their Nintendo add-ons because they were told by Nintendo to take down stuff. Brewster and Crispy Toast, however, showcased proof that this wasn't from Nintendo's legal team, and instead it was from an imposter who goes by the name Aaron Peters, or some dumb sh name like that. This was before Face Punch made the announcement, by the way. There have been claims that this Aaron St Aaron 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 Pee Pee Poo Poo guy has been going around taking down stuff containing Nintendo stuff since 2018. Talking. I wanted to share my thoughts on this situation, and that is, I'm worried that this will have a big impact in terms of modding as a whole. Now, I could be overreacting when I say this, maybe this will change in the future. I think this is a serious situation, as people can now easily abuse the Steam Workshop's DMCA system for their unhinged lunacy. This doesn't apply to just Gmod. This applies to every other Steam Workshop. Skyrim, Rivals of Ether, Left 4 Dead 2, Source Filmmaker, Killing Floor, etc. And friendly reminder, it is illegal. It is illegal to pose as a big company and falsely file DMCA takedowns for them. Now, I'm sure that not all of these workshops are under threat from abusing trolls, but it can happen anytime. Now, some people are not convinced of what Brewster shared for evidence. And I think that's fair because Nintendo is no stranger when it comes to taking down fan-related projects. They've done this for fan games and modded tournaments. They took down a Power World mod video and a custom COD World at War video. Both featured Pokemon models in them. There was that whole dolphin emulation thing that Valve contacted Nintendo about to see if it was okay to release Dolphin Emulator on Steam. And they told Valve to take it down because something something code or something, I don't know. Recently, however, there has been a claim from one person on Twitter that Nintendo had no involvement over the DMCA takedowns. And again, it's just one person on Twitter, so take it with a grain of salt. We'll have to wait for further answers. Assuming hypothetically this was the real Nintendo company doing these takedowns, this could have a heavy impact on modding as a whole. Modding would have been enforced more on what you can and cannot put into the Steam Workshop, because that property belongs to Nintendo or some random company and they will come after you for it. Either way, this is crazy what is happening. I've been modding for Gary's Mod since 2013. I have made a lot of add-ons such as COD Zombies Wonder Weapon Sweps, a few Fallout 3 Sweps, I've ported Bionicle models into the game. I never thought to see my friend Brewster T. Koopa mentioned in Charlie White's video or Know Your Meme. I've known Brewster since 2016. He's a very nice person to talk to. We met after we grew tired of how sh the Gmod community was treating us. And yes, the Gmod community is still f***ed. And I thought Noah Khan being a famous singer on Spotify made my life feel like a f***ing small world. Well, that's all I have to say. I'm sure it will be resolved or it probably might get worse. I'm not gonna make a follow-up video on this topic, I have other things to focus on, I just wanted to address it to help spread this problem with this DMCA abuse that's going on. Share your thoughts down below, love to hear what you have to say, please keep the discussion civil and reasonable. I do SFM motion capture videos and I'm currently working on the next one, so if you're interested in that, 
do subscribe and stick around. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.